Other big races, by the way, that we're following tonight is in Dallas. This is where we've got two candidates battling for Eddie Bernice Johnson's congressional seat. That's right. It's been a heated one. Our J.D. Miles is at the Jasmine Crockett's watch party over at the Statler in Dallas, where, J.D., the supporters, they are feeling pretty confident tonight. They certainly are, Nicole and Doug. For the first time in three decades, the 30th congressional district here in Dallas will have a new face, and it's looking more and more like that new face will be Dallas attorney Jasmine Crockett. She has received uh, more than two-thirds of the early voting, and it looks like she's uh, carrying a healthy lead as the results come in throughout the night. This district represents downtown and southern Dallas. It's also been held firmly by longtime incumbent Eddie Bernice. Johnson for the past three decades. She was elected in 1992. She's not seeking re-election. And Jasmine Crockett got the all-important uh, endorsement from Eddie Bernice Johnson, who has been with her tonight here at this watch party. Now, we um, just heard, as you see on our video, from Jasmine Crockett, who claimed victory. She said she had heard from her opponent, who conceded. And now she joins us here live to talk to us. First of all, uh, Ms. Crockett, thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations on a big win tonight. This is a this is a changing of the guard in Dallas. Um, we're going to see a new face in this uh, congressional seat. Uh, you've been closely aligned with Eddie Bernice Johnson um, throughout the campaign. If you win in November, how will you be different from her in terms of uh, in terms of carrying out your duties as the congressional member from Dallas? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, thanks for being here. Um, you know, I will say one thing that District 30. Was was looking forward to is some continuity. Um, I had voters that would show up and say, hey, she does these tele-town halls to make sure that she hears from us. Do you promise to continue that? And so there absolutely will be a lot of things that will continue on, things that they're familiar with, things that they want to see. But in addition to that, I'm obviously a little bit younger. And that was one of the things that the Congresswoman really wanted to do is make sure that she had someone who was young and energetic. So we'll be doing things as it relates to social media. I plan to have a huge team of interns. I want to make sure that those students at Paul Quinn are starting to come into our office and hopefully get this great experience. So I'm just looking forward to the future. Well, thank you again, Ms. Crockett. Congratulations, and uh, we'll be talking to you as the campaign continues here. As we said, um, she faces a Republican opponent in November, but this uh, race tonight bodes well for her because um, it's a very heavily Democratic seat here in downtown and southern Dallas. Live in Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.